What's up everybody? It's winter right now and most of my pepper plant content is very seasonal. So today I figured I'd share with you my award-winning sweet and spicy grilled chicken wing recipe. So we're gonna make a pretty simple marinade for these wings. Uh, it's only seven ingredients. The base is pretty much gonna be the soy sauce. This is uh, full sodium. You can use the reduced sodium if you want, but that salt makes a good brine for the wings. And then we're also gonna use some bourbon in there to add a little flavor. This is my cooking bourbon. I'm about to need some more, but I always laugh when people use really nice bourbon in cooking videos. So I'm just using some more affordable stuff just for a little flavor. Then I've got a couple sweet things here. So I have honey, maple syrup, and brown sugar. So hopefully this sweet kind of balances the saltiness from the soy sauce. And also that sugar on the grill is gonna caramelize and crisp up the wing really nice. because we're gonna cook it a little slower than uh, you would if you wanted a really crispy wing. And then just a little garlic, uh, can never go wrong with some garlic in a recipe. And these here are what's gonna provide our heat. These are dried fatali peppers. So if you've been on the channel for a bit, you know fatali is one of my favorite peppers. The heat is really good heat, and it also just has a phenomenal flavor. Uh, I have a video of making these, and it's actually been a while since I made these. These dehydrated flakes last a long time, um, but that's gonna provide us some really nice heat. So this will be like a sweet, salty, hot wing. So let's get started mixing all these up in our bowl, and then we'll let our wings marinate for a bit. The soy sauce is gonna provide most of our liquid, and I'm doing one cup of that. Next is a quarter cup of bourbon, followed by a half cup of maple syrup. And I didn't mention this before, but definitely use the real stuff. Full maple syrup, 100%, no uh, fake syrup. Next, we're just gonna add some honey. I'd just say a big squeeze. I don't know if I had to quantify it, maybe two tablespoons honey. Give it some more sweetness. Getting into our solid ingredients, I have one tablespoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon of garlic powder. This should help balance the sweet and salty thing we got going on. And last but not least, I have a tablespoon of those dried fatali flakes. These things smell awesome just as I'm dishing them out. And I should have mentioned this earlier, but I know not everybody has dried fatali flakes. You can absolutely use just normal red pepper flakes in this recipe. To just give this a good mix, getting that honey mixed in, all the garlic powder, fatali flakes mixed together, and uh, the brown sugar dissolved. So I'm just gonna keep stirring this. All right, I mixed our marinade up with our chicken wings in a bag, and now I'm just gonna put this in the fridge uh, to marinate. It's 10 in the morning now, and I'm gonna cook these for dinner tonight. So that'll be about eight hours of them marinating. All right, outside I got my grill heating up, and check this out. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've got all my dear friends are just hanging out tonight. They are, they came over to ask when I'm gonna plant those delicious tomatoes that hang over the fence again. They're excited for that. They love coming and munching on my garden. And if this fence wasn't here, there would be nothing left. Uh, speaking of the garden though, in the past two days, I've gotten two whole trailer loads of stuff for the garden. So that's been a workout, but um, I'm excited for it coming up. The grill's at about 350. So now I'm gonna oil the grates with some avocado oil. It's good for high heat when you're grilling. giving all this a quick wipe. Okay, for the wings, I've been flipping the bag over every now and then throughout the day just to make sure they're evenly coated. And then for the last 20 minutes or so, I've just had them out of the fridge on the counter coming up to temp. So we can add them to the grill now. All right, we are on. Got them all on here evenly spaced out with some room to breathe around them. I'm gonna try to keep this around like 350. Some people grill wings a lot hotter, but I want them to go nice and kind of slower just to kind of break apart all that connective tissue and stuff. And then I have saved my marinade. We're gonna baste them with that part way through. 
All right, it's been 10 minutes at like 325 to 350 range. And these are starting to sizzle pretty good. They smell amazing. We're gonna turn them all. Uh, and when we turn them, we're also gonna shuffle them and baste them. So the reason for shuffling, every grill will have hot spots. Like I know on mine, this one here, see it's, it's cooking pretty good, but compared to like one up here, that got pretty toasty. Um, if we shuffle them all, they'll cook even. Um, that's a nice char. A lot of that's from that sugar in the maple syrup and brown sugar and honey. So I'm about to rearrange all these and then baste them with our juice and let them go for probably another 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 more minutes. I just temped some of these and we're in the 140s. I'm actually gonna cook them to 175. I know you're gonna say Jack chicken's done at 165, but 175 seems to be a little good for wings. So I'm gonna flip all these again, rearrange them again. Some that are getting pretty toasty. Like this one, I'll keep kind of in one of the cooler spots. Um, and then I'm gonna baste them again to keep them moist since they're cooking slow, but this slow cook will be good for them. Make sure they just fall apart. So this is the final baste here. And just to review, we grilled them for 10 minutes, flipped them, basted them, grilled them for another 10 minutes, flipped them, now I'm basting them, and now I'll let them go another 10 minutes until they should be done with a total cook time of 30 minutes. Just snagged some mint to make a cocktail with that leftover bourbon, but look at that grill steaming. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but it is cold tonight. All right, most of the flats and all of these smaller drums that were near the middle are done. Some of these bigger drums and ones that were near the edge aren't quite done, but they're looking good. Got a nice crust on them. It's important to have a thermometer and check them individually because of that. Despite our best efforts, they won't be done all at the same time, but they look great. I can't wait for them. I know 30 minutes is a long time to grill a wing, but I think it's worth it. Inside, you can really see how good these things came out. They are nice and moist and then have that crispy caramelized sugar coating on the outside. The taste is excellent. They are sweet and salty and then have great flavor from the bourbon and maple. Um, the heat packs a punch from those Fatali flakes, but it's just a really nice finish on it. I'm not doing anything too crazy for presentation. I've got my cocktail here and then just some ranch and celery sticks, and it is time to enjoy these wings.